the driver's seat of a 2000 Honda Accord Type R. Massive, massive thank you to Tom for letting me take his pride and joy out. Now, this is the first time I've ever driven an Accord of this shape, and especially a Type R one as well. This is actually a fantastic budget Honda to get the kids in, to get the shopping in, to get everything in. Now the first thing is to point out the H22 2.2 litre engine in these Type R Accords. This model actually comes with a factory LSD as well. Something that I think a lot of the Honda enthusiasts would really appreciate. Having a factory LSD in one of these cars makes it so much better to drive and it makes the handling so much better. And as for a driver's car, I think the LSD is the first thing to really point out. You can really feel it when you are booting this thing right round into VTAC, even at the limiter, and tucking it into corners, you can really feel that LSD working. That coupled with this fantastic gearbox, which is a five speed, means you can really rev this car out and it gains quite a lot of speed quickly through each gear. You don't find yourself fumbling through gears. The gear ratios seem a lot longer in this and I think that's a good thing because it means you can rev it right round and you're not really tipping it into gears all the time. But when you do change gear, it is such a pleasing and rewarding feeling because it is so notchy. Even though this car is on 160,000 miles, the throw is fantastic. Notches right in gear just like a Honda Type R should. Now modifications done to this car, it has graphite grey team dynamic wheels which really set the car off. I think the standard ones are cool but I think this style of wheel, especially on this size of car, does look really good. This also has a cold air feed and it has a mongoose cat back exhaust system so you are still retaining the cat in this car but as you can hear it really roars the second you put your foot on that accelerator you have a lot of induction noise but the question is is it a good car to drive I'm going to find out by throwing it into some cheeky B-Roads today. See what this car's all about. except for that rear wing. The bodywork isn't actually too leery. You do have a couple of splitters and you know, a bit more of aggression to the bodywork, but in all reality, it's actually quite tame, but you do get to that rear end with the twin exhaust system shooting out the back with that big wing going across the boot. It's got Type R written all over it. Now coming to have a quick look around this car, you do find little bits and bobs, very Honda related performance, little bits and bobs around this car when you do have a good look between these and a standard Accord. Coming up front you do have this lower splitter just down here 
gives a bit more aggression to the front end. You obviously got the Type R badging, needs to be there. You do have tinted front lights on these as well, which is quite a big thing. It does darken up the front. Just gives it a bit more um, of a sportier edge, I suppose. Gives it a bit more of a body kit to it, especially with that front splitter. And coming to the rear end of the car, this is the part I really like about this. The big wing at the back, sort of a Honda trait, needs to be there, especially on a Type R. Type R badging just down there and a red Honda logo just completes the package, in my opinion. Coming down, you have a bit more of a, again, a body kit, a bit splitter at the back uh, and side skirts as well. Type R badging just at the side here with the Team Dynamics Pro Race 1.2s. Really finish this car off, I think, especially with the silver and the gray, sort of graphite gray of the wheels. Really looks really good. Coming to the rear as well, twin exit exhaust system. This is a mongoose exhaust system on this one as well. From a factory car, really cool, in my opinion. You're taking the Accord, which is, you know, a relatively normal car, putting the Type R badge on it means that you have to sort of up the ante a little bit, I think. And with this, I think they pulled it off. Definitely putting that wing on was a fantastic idea. The red badging, fantastic idea. And then the twin exit, fantastic idea. Now jumping in this car, really, really cool sense of race and daily, I'm gonna say. You got white clock, swooping dash, some sort of fake carbon fiber, I'm gonna say, on the dash there. Recaro interior, very, very nice Recaro interior. Although stiff, it's a nice place to be in here. It's, you know, well set out. Everything's exactly where you need it to be. And there's space, a lot of space in here. My chair is exactly where my driving position would be. And you could get a full size adult in the back. So if you are in the market for something like this, you maybe have children, you go shopping a lot, you need to do the whole daily thing, but you want to absolutely tear a car's head off when you have a chance, this is something to look at. Second gear. <laughs> oh, this thing does, <laughs> does not pace very, very quickly. Oh, I'm loving that gearbox. Second gear pull again. 5,000 RPM. Oh, coming into VTEC. Wow, that is, that is a really well handling car. I am genuinely really, really impressed with this thing. Now this harps back to the FD2 I did. Absolutely fell in love with the car. And although they are a lot more expensive than this Accord, you do get the same sort of gist in both cars. They both have that fantastic exhaust and induction noise that you would get from a VTEC Honda. But you have the practicality which, you know, when you're a grown-up, do we ever grow up? I'm not growing up. You can get your kids in the back, get the shopping in the back, but still go and completely abuse this thing when you have a chance. When you do come on VTEC, it leaps, the whole car comes up. And I get that sensation in most VTEC Hondas, but in this one, where it's of era, you know, this era of Honda being one of the best, in my opinion, with this engine, the 2.2 litre H22, when it does come on VTEC, the whole car just sings and it, it lifts as if, yes, we are really going now, hurt me, I want to be hurt. And I think that with every VTEC car, when you do actually jump in one of these and you're on VTEC and you're climbing round the revs around to, you know, eight, 9,000 RPM in these VTEC Hondas, you realise how good these cars really are, how good the engines are. And the platform that they're in never really phases the, you know, LSD and the uh, engine whatsoever. There's still a bloody good riot to drive. And you forget that sometimes when you look at them because you think, you know, relatively mundane Accord Type R. And then you go and drive it and oh, exquisite gear changes, soft clutch, very easy to use steering, you know, the steering's so direct. And when you do chuck it in, lightweight feel and it's, it's so race car, but it's not, is it? At the same time, it feels like when you are on the edge and you're really slamming through the gears, it doesn't feel like a big four door saloon at all. It feels like a lightweight VTEC Honda. That's what it feels like. So 
this Honda Accord Type R is for the type of man that wants to please his wife by buying a four-door, please his family, his kids, by having a big enough back seat and the boot to take all of their belongings with, and then he can pull up to any Honda-related meet and still be accepted because he has a Type R. He can get away with having a Type R, but it still be viable to have as a family car and that's good going Honda it's sneaky sneaky if you think about it because you can keep the finesse the love for Hondas the type R badging but pleasing your family at the same time and you don't get many cars that are both you know you're still retaining a good MPG it's good enough to completely thrash or good enough to stay in traffic and travel around as much as possible so getting away with all that in adult life and still being able to completely thrash the living nuts out of this car means it's at the top of my list of cars that I love now. I've got a big love for this. I have never, again, never sat in one of these, been around one, never really taken any notice, unfortunately, of these cars. And now I completely understand why you would buy one. With that, guys, I'm going to VTEC the living crap out of this off into the sunset on a fantastic B road in what is basically the British summer right now. It's 21 degrees today. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. FYD merch is back up on the site. These tall tees are available from fydapparel.com. Please support my clothing company. It supports the videos. It supports me going out in these fantastic cars producing content for you guys please like this video subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you all on the next video cheers guys